I am on the Lower East Side in the amphitheater of Jackson Park. I think it's now called Polias Park, but when I grew up, it was Jackson Park taking off my uh, mask. But I uh, wanted you to see that we have these masks available, grab a girlfriend and go mask. So I wanted to just kind of pop in real quick and talk to those of you who are going to be joining us on the grab a girlfriend and go take your life back walk happening on September 26, 2020. That's a Saturday, September 26, 2020. It is the last Saturday in September. And what's going to be happening is we are going to do a guided virtual walk. It will be aired live stream video on Instagram and possibly YouTube, Facebook. Still working out the kinks, but it will definitely be aired live stream Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at the Cassandra Mac. And so for those of you who don't know about the walk, let me quickly tell you about the walk and then you're gonna meet my lovely, gorgeous mom who's uh, sitting right beside me and she's gonna join the video in a moment. So we've been doing this walk for about six years. And the purpose of this walk is to bring women together in sisterhood, fellowship, faith, and solidarity to focus on self-care. This is why self-care is so important. As women, we typically spend nearly 75% of our lives taking care of other people, often leaving ourselves at the bottom of our to-do list. We take care of our spouses, significant other children. We take care of the people on our job, whatever committees we're on. And what happens is we're so busy taking care of everyone else that we forget about our own needs, our own goals, our own priorities. And what happens is we start to give from our reserves and a place of overwhelm rather than giving from our overflow and when you give from your reserves, you really have nothing left for yourself. Think about it, right? When you're traveling on an airplane and the flight attendant comes out, one of the things they say is, in the event of emergency, when the mask comes down, if you're traveling with a small child, put your own mask on first. And that's what this is about. Put your own mask on first. For women, that might be counterintuitive. You might say, you know, why don't I put on my child's mask first? Well, here's why. If you refuse to put on your mask or forget or neglect to put on your mask and you don't survive, you won't be there to take care of your child. And so the same analogy applies when we're taking care of everybody else's needs. And so this walk, which I'm really excited about, excited about that we're doing this year, is going to be a guided virtual walk. So we won't be meeting in person, but I will be guiding you live video stream. So I will be guiding you through a series of self-care activities so that you can come out of 2020 with some clear self-care intentions to come out of this year as a stronger, better, wiser version of yourself. The theme for this year's walk is taking our lives back. You know, COVID-19 has taken so many things from us. We're, we're being ushered into a new normal. It has taken a lot of our freedoms and understandably so we need to be safe but a lot of us are grieving uh, a lot of us are anxious a lot of us are more depressed than normal a lot of us are stressed and we have short fuses and so now more than ever it is important to care for your mental health it is important to make peace of mind a priority because anything that costs you your peace baby is too expensive i had to learn that the hard way by having a, a long talk with my mom who had to remind me of that and this walk is really about saying COVID-19 may have taken some things from us, but what it can't take is our hope. It can't take our dreams and our goals and our vision for the future. It ain't always gonna be this way. And when things get better, whether that's six months from now or three years from now, we wanna be able to flow with grace into our goals and dreams. How does that sound, ladies? Well, if you wanna flow with me, and the rest of the Cassandra Mack family, then join us on Saturday, September 26, 2020. And the beauty of this walk is you can walk in your city, state, or country, wherever you live, and you choose your walking route. So you can walk to a municipal building, the beauty salon, your favorite coffee shop, you can walk around the block, you can walk to a friend's house, you can walk at home on a treadmill in place. If you are in a wheelchair, you can find a wheelchair accessible route. If you cannot walk, then you can walk in your mind and use your imagination to come on along with us. We wanna make sure that no woman is left behind, but you gotta get the Grab a Girlfriend and Go t-shirt. 
this way we are walking on the same date at the same time wearing the same t-shirt to show our solidarity think about a sports team the reason they all have the same jersey is because they're playing for the same team and so this year we are on team take your life back and what's going to embody that is the gravel girlfriend and ghost shirt which is available at my teespring store you'll see it in the video description box and you'll also see it at the bottom of the video you just got to click on the uh pictures until you get to the picture that looks like this let me stand up a little bit so you can get to see the shirt it says cassandra mac then you see women of various cultures and then it says uh <laughs> Grab a girlfriend and go take your life back. 2020 virtual walk. So get the shirt. If you are walking with other people, perhaps you're walking with a family member or some people are walking with a group of girlfriends, but they're doing it safely. They're social distancing. Some people are walking with their spouses. People have asked, can I bring my husband? Sure, where it says grab a girlfriend and go, you just cross out the word girl and it's grab a friend and grow and go or grab a grow and go. And so uh, here's what the mask is looking like okay so that you got your mask on and uh you can do it safely so i want to introduce you to my mom and uh, this is mama carol a lot of you know the voice this is what the mask looks like so mama carol feel free to take off your mask and uh, say hi to everybody good morning everyone <laughs> i hope you have a fabulous day <laughs> so you probably think this is my sister because she's looking young hot sexy but this is my mama, and I hope when I get to be her age that uh, I am half of the woman that she is. And so um, what we're going to be doing this year is we're going to be doing walking affirmations. And I wanted to bring my mom in because she's been with us from the start. We have been doing this walk for six years. Now, this is the first year that it's going to be a guided virtual walk due to COVID-19. In the past, we actually did the walk. In, we gathered in person in Manhattan, New York City. And we had women who flew in from as far away as Maryland, Florida. We had one woman who came all the way from Finland. We had women who came from California to be part of this uh, gathering of women to come together just for their own positivity and their own self-care. And so she has been really the backbone uh, of helping with the war. She's the one who puts together these packages. She's the one who's been doing the registration. So now you get to put face uh, to the person who is part of the backbone of not only grab a girlfriend and go but part of the backbone of the ministry you may not hear her a lot but this is the person who I brainstorm with this is the person who gives me ideas who keeps me focused and anyone who's in any kind of leadership position whether you're leading a ministry a company a small business or you are leading your own family you know that no man or woman in my case is an island and so with that being said at this walk, we're going to be setting some self-care intentions. So I want you to think about that now as you save the day. What are your self-care intentions? And what a self-care intention is, is it's a focal point for you to really think about what do I intend to do to become a stronger, better, wiser version of myself. It can be something mental, financial, uh, something uh, health-wise, physical. It can be something social, relationship-wise. It's totally up to you. You know what you need to do in your life. So let me give you an example of what it sounds like, and then I'm going to ask my mom a couple of questions. And so let's say, for an example, you are a woman who struggles with your body image, right? Maybe one of the self-care intentions that you want to set to finish this year strong is you want to walk away from hating your body and putting yourself down and you want to walk away from a poor self-image so that you can walk into gratitude for the body that you have while you do what you need to do to get healthier so here's what it might sound like you may say something along the lines of i am walking away from hating my body so that i can walk into gratitude for all the ways my body serves me well my eyes allow me to, to see my ears allow me to hear my arms allow me to reach for my dreams and write down my vision. My legs give me the power to stand, the power to walk, the power to keep on keeping on no matter how many times in life, life knocks me down. And so when you shift from the realm of poor self-image, poor body image into the realm of gratitude, you're starting from a more optimal place, which will give you the inspiration and the motivation to begin to take steps towards healthier living, not just for aesthetics, but for your own health and your own self-care because it's not really about the aesthetics it is about self-care being beautiful 
on the inside, but you gotta feel that way, whether you are a size six, a size 16, or a size 26. We want all women to join this walk. And if you're a person who's never been active, then walk in your house, start that way. Walk from the kitchen to the living room, but join this walk. So now I'm gonna let my mom introduce herself. And mom, what's your self-care intention for this walk? Well, my name is Carol. As you know, I'm Cassandra's mother. Uh, for me, I am walking out of eating sweets and unhealthy food because honestly, I love sweets. <laughs> and I've recently made some changes within my health in terms of walking into eating much healthier foods, salads. I come out at 6 o'clock in the morning and I run, something I have not done in years because it's important to stay on this earth and to be able to take care of me as well as my family, I need to eat much better. Awesome, thank you so much, Mom, for sharing that. Thank you. All right, and so that was Mama Carol, and I also want to tell you about the book. So I am doing a, a giveaway where we are giving away one copy of the book, Grab a Girlfriend and Go, to the 26th person who enters their email at grabagirlfriendandgo.com. Each day we're going to be doing that. So here's how it works. You enter your name at the website grabagirlfriendandgold.com. You enter your email actually. And if you are the 26th person, someone from my team will email you and let you know, hey, you're the 26th person. You've won Cassandra Max Grab a Girlfriend and Go book. What's your address so we can ship the book out to you and you give us your address. It is that simple and you will get a book from us. We're doing this for 26 days to signify the uh, September 26th, which is the date of our walk. For those of you wondering why September, September in the United States, because I know people are joining us worldwide, is National Self-Care Month. And this is why we've been doing the walk every uh, September. So I know probably a lot of you are gonna reach out to me whenever I bring my mother in, people are always like, what are her beauty secrets? Oh my gosh, that's your mom. Uh, I can't believe that's your mom. So at some point, I uh, am gonna invite my mom to do a video with me on aging beautifully, aging gracefully, aging with class. You know, oftentimes as women, we're so afraid once we hit the 35, then the 45 mark for me, I'm over 50, the 50, the 50 and over mark, not realizing that, listen, it gets greater later. You know, it ain't over, it's your mindset. And when you have that mindset that you are going to live life to the fullest, that's all that counts, so at some point, we're gonna do a video. I'm gonna invite my mother to do a video on beauty from the inside out. We're gonna talk about the three layers of beauty. And believe it or not, physical beauty is the last layer of beauty. The first two layers are internal. And you can be physically beautiful no matter your age, no matter your size. When I think about women like Nancy Wilson, uh, when I think about women like uh, Jane Fonda, when I think about women, women like Tina Turner, none of these women are spring chicken, but they love life. They're living life to the fullest. It ain't over till it's over. So I just want to put that out there. So for those of you who want to support the ministry and support the channel, please support the ministry. You can do so by going to CassandraMacMinistries.com. You'll see a link that says give and donate. You can support us through secure PayPal. You can also support through the Cash App. My Cash App is the cash sign, the Cassandra Mac, the word the and then my name, Cassandra Mac. And please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you find videos like this helpful, please share them on your social media networks with your friends. So don't forget, save the date, Saturday, September 26, 2020. Grab a girlfriend and go. Grab your husband and go. Grab a bro and grow. Grab your children and go. Whoever you need to grab and go, just be there. And the best part is, it's totally free. Always remember, iron sharpens iron. So be that iron that sharpens somebody else's life. I love you guys. Thank you.